Hey guys, we're gonna do a DIY on cleaning your stainless steel teapots, which is really cool. This is basically a very simple way of doing it. Um, I would go through cleaning every part of this old um, teapot or kettle. Uh, it's been like this for a while, it hasn't been cleaned in years, and it's been stained with a lot of tea. It's gonna end up like this after this video is over, and it's very, very simple. All you really need to do is basically get an old teapot and some pennies. I'm going to clean these pennies as well. This PD pot was actually a, a giveaway um, at work because the person was doesn't need it anymore. I got myself some denture cleaners and I figured if it could clean dentures, it could destain, you know, tea. So this should be able to break up most of the stuff and kill any bacteria in it since it wasn't my teapot anyways. So I'm putting hot water in there right off the faucet. And to find out it's really hot, it's right now 65 degrees in my room. And when I screw this thing on in, I love this thing because it actually has a temperature gauge, but I doubt I'm gonna be using it for that. I'm just gonna probably put water in it. But it has a temperature gauge and it's slowly building up to about 100 degrees, which is how much, about how hot the water was coming out of the tap. So anyways, let's go ahead and clean this. I just wanna show you that it actually has a temperature gauge. I'm actually going to clean those paintings as well, so I'm going to dump two of those denture cleaners into a little cup of water, of hot water, and start throwing these paintings in. Because these paintings, what I use it for is for my gumball machine. I have another video below. I don't like my gumball machine gumming up with a lot of dirty uh, pennies. So what I do is, you know, I use that to eat my m and M. so I basically clean the pennies first. So when I grab a penny, put it in, I know that the penny's clean versus a dirty use, used penny. So, because I'm gonna basically grab the uh, candy with my hands, so with the same hand, so I don't want to have dirty pennies as well as unclean fingers to eat my M&Ms. Anywho, so hot water in the kettle, put two of these uh, denture cleaners inside of it. I eventually put another one in just for good measure. Uh, so it makes a total of three, but it's nice that it's like an Alka-Seltzer where it just basically bubbles up. But putting a third one in just for good measure is cool. Four wouldn't hurt as well, but I think two or two or three is probably is fine. So go ahead, slide that thing in and lock this thing down. Um, what you're going to notice is that for people who actually use these teddy kettles, they use if they use loose leaf teas and they didn't put it in a bag or anything, the tea gets stuck in the valve. So sometimes it gets jammed in the screw areas or in the valve or the gaskets or even inside this top. So you're gonna to need to clean this top later, uh, either by soaking the whole top in a solution of um, the denture solution, or just let, or just basically take it into the shower and blow it with um, with hot water to get out all the leaves that are stuck inside that valve. So I actually did that before, uh, and before I actually did this, and let's see what happens. This is one day or 12 hours afterwards. So this is in the morning time. I did this last night, and the paints look really clean. They're super clean. They're probably killed off most of the bacteria, whatever on these things. Um, but I left it overnight, so it should be pretty cool. It looks super new and fresh. Usually I use vinegar or something to clean it, but this time I try using um, denture cleaner, so just to see if it works on pennies as well. There's some pennies that are super stained. I guess they were either damaged or with um, acid or something else like that. So long story short, it works for pennies. You know, I have two of them and all these pennies and all that surface area, not bad. Not bad for a quick clean. Of course, I could just use my vinegar one. It's blue because the denture water is blue. It's not because I don't think it's because of the pennies, but in a way, it might be the pennies too, because of the oxidation. Now, turning this guy upside down, there was a little bit of tea that came out, and when this is going to amaze you guys, I'm going to hit that, hit that, put it all in the sink. Look at that! All that tea gunk just got, came off of it. This is a lot. This is like probably 90% of all the tea gunk that was in there. I'm gonna rinse out the stuff that's inside the, the top cap and I try to get as much of the tea oh, stuff out of that one too. Like I said, there are tea stains inside there because tea goes through there as well as tea leaves. But look at that. I'm just gonna drain it all and just basically, um, it's like like sheer tea things. There is still some remainder amounts of tea uh, staining in there and I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that now. What is what happens is that there's still tea stains on the edges, on the bottom, and the seam areas where, where, where it's deeper. But the needle is clean as well, so we'll go ahead and do, use a kitchen brush or even a bottle brush and just basically, you know, put some dishwashing solution inside of it. I just put a few drops of uh, dishwashing liquid in there. This is actually a foaming one, but it doesn't matter. 
Um, and I'm just going to brush the heck out of this thing. Where the seams are, do a quick go around the walls, and just make sure everything um, that is solid or anything else will come off again. And of course I'm taking care of all the nooks and crannies on the side, as well as like the tops and, and edges and everywhere else. I'm going to also clean the outside of the, um, well look at that brush, it's all dark. It's picked up most of the tea staining um, sediment. As well as now I'm cleaning the sides of this thing. I'm going to take apart the gasket as well so that I can clean underneath the gasket in case uh, there's a um, there's a buildup of tea particles or any debris or residue. So just to take it off, clean it too, rinse it off again, make sure there's no soap suds in it. You open the valve as well to drain out all the stuff that's in there. Again, this is like probably the fifth time I, I clean that valve area, but now there's absolutely no tea in there left. Um, the original person who had this broke the lever and I guess it didn't really work for them anymore. So, but the lever still works and it still holds water tight. So it's perfect for me. I don't care. I'll probably put a popsicle stick in there to you know, put it as a lever, but it doesn't matter. Anywho, so washed up with dishwashing liquid. It looks really cool. Now if we take a look at it. It should be really good. I'm going to go ahead and put some hot water in there to rinse off the remaining amount of dishwashing liquid and stuff. I'll probably rinse it again with, you know, since there's dishwashing liquid in it. Just want to make sure I don't, you know, drink dishwashing liquid. So just checking all the seals and all the spacers and everything else like that. It looks like it's good. Um, but like I said, this is probably at least three to four years old, I'm guessing. Um, but yeah, it looks great. And it looks pretty much like new. So I'm going to go ahead and that's it. So that the um, um, soap solution is going to, you know, ooh, good, it's about 100 degrees. Perfect. So we're just gonna let it rinse off with the soap solution. I'll probably rinse it through the um, the valve so that we rinse off that center part too. And shake, shake, shake. I'm gonna shake this a whole bit and now I'm gonna start cleaning up my tools. So clean up my brushes, make sure there's none of that stuff stains my brush. Clean up my uh, terry cloth. And that's really about it. There you have it, it's done. So this is what you get. It's a super clean, um, tea kettle and also super clean pennies anyways like subscribe and all that fun stuff hit the bell button for more um lifestyle videos diys and other fun stuff see you next